Hello gamers, uh, Pat here, welcome to another Unity asset uh, review and uh, tutorial. And it's more of a kind of review or a presentation. Uh, the, the asset itself is pretty simple and it doesn't require a proper tutorial per se. Uh, uh, we are going to talk about rainbow folders. Uh, but before we begin, uh, you can see in this project that uh, I have a couple of other assets that I've already covered in the past. I have Enhanced Hierarchy over here and I have Favorites list over here. You can go to GamerPad.com, uh, which is my website, where I'm also posting other useful uh, reviews in the assets and other proper tutorials <laughs> so if you want to check uh, them out also if you want to check the asset itself you can click the link in the de description below now rainbow folders it's another uh, unity uh, editor asset that it's extremely useful it seems uh, simple itself uh, it's extremely useful and i love uh, to use it uh, i've been postponing a little bit on making this video and i'm glad that i've done it because they've actually added something new um which is the backgrounds uh, that you can see over here so that's actually fairly great so let's see exactly what is rainbow folders as you can guess from this image over here it's uh it's giving you the ability to uh give your unity folders in the project colors now uh the plugin itself know how to do it by itself so let's create a new folder and let's create its shader uh, so, uh, and if I press, press enter, as you can see, it already got colored. Uh, since I'm kind of having this naming conversion where I'm placing an underscore uh, b before uh, the actual uh, folder name because I want to have them in uh, front of everything else. This is something that I don't like about Unity is the fact that uh, I can't really separate my asset files that I actually use in the project uh, from the actual plugins. So as you can see in the, this project, I have uh, other folders that I really don't give a shit about. They are from the, 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 the plugins that I use and I would prefer those plugins to be in some other place, like maybe in this plugins folder. Of course, for some uh, assets, you can remove them. For a lot of other assets, you can't really move them because then the plugins themselves will not function properly. So this is why I'm actually uh, naming all my folders like this with an underscore. So let's see. Let's say that we are, are we want to create a new folder let's create it underscore shaders and if we press enter as you can see it has no color one thing that you, you can do is you can press alt and you can of course click you will get this uh, small um customization thingy or something like that where you can do something like this right uh, you can also set up a background form form here uh, you can press custom and you can press uh you know to pick up a texture and let's see how this looks i'm curious it's not looking really properly but it's it's interesting that you can place up your own uh, your own um um you know backgrounds for that so let's actually put up some uh, like color like this uh but okay let, let's not do it like this okay uh, so let's uh, cancel uh you can do it another way is to right click you go to rainbow folders you also have settings and if you look at the settings these are the um folders that are already added animations audio editor and you, you can see these are the um colors and the icon that it's already being added to them this is coming default out of the box so if you are creating a fold a fonts folder it will look like this um and for example what i could do uh let's leave the shaders uh let's actually go to uh settings again what i could do is uh, go over here I'll go to the shaders and where are the shaders uh, those are the customs one that i've already added uh i believe that if i i haven't done this I, i've had done it ages ago uh haven't done it since if i put something like this it's the name shader i i think it's saved if i am to create a new folder right now called create folder it automatically gets that right so i don't have to do it manually myself so what i could do is actually go to all of the settings and under add an underscore uh here what you have to uh, understand is that the name itself as you can see it's a name and not a path so any folder that no, doesn't matter where it is any folder that will have this name it will have this uh color folder right uh those are the ones that are having a path that I've that I have added manually. So let uh, me show you actually how to add something uh, uh, manually. So let's add animations, right? Again, it's bland. 
uh, right click custom you can do platform you can do type you can do tag you can do color the downside is that you can't really see the colors themselves so sometimes i have to be emerald uh i don't really like emerald uh let's uh try again click click uh lime uh okay maybe lime it's better or something like that what i usually like to do is actually go to the assets uh itself and look at the at the screenshot that they've took uh, and i see the colors list over here and i'm like okay this is the color that i want so i know how to go directly to uh that color so anyway uh this is kind of it i believe uh for the asset itself let's also add a type let's add animations uh, again it's changing the whole um uh type thingy uh, the whole uh, color itself also it's not only the icon but if we press alt click uh you see it's having icons like this uh let's uh scripts it's looking like this tags if we put use tags it's something like this uh let's also put a background color so you see there are a lot of things that uh how you can uh customize this so i think it's uh <coughs> i think it's a pretty cool uh unity extension and it's going to enhance your productivity maybe hopefully who knows um and i think it would be like pretty cool if i would be able to do this uh right now let's not rename the editor one um uh, extensions maybe even that i never used an extensions uh folder before i didn't had the necessity for it icons materials uh meshes plugins uh it's already like that so i don't have to plugins folder is it's okay prefabs um so i don't know i i kind of like it especially i like colors in general so for me it's uh, kind of cool to use something like this um so yeah this is rainbow folders hopefully this is a, un a useful uh unity uh editor extension for you uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching this guys. See you soon. Goodbye